Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for Dweebovision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. My opponent's gone fast with Oi. I have Boudoirs, and that's fortunate because this didn't look particularly bingo-y. Yeah, this is in the right place. I don't think there are any other bingos with this rack. Boudoirs. And sometimes online I play my opening move quickly in case my opponent decides that I'm taking too long and aborts the game. Now, this is pretty good. I've got the Z, which is a good scoring tile. I don't think I have a bingo here. But I have Frenzy as a six-letter play. I'm just scanning the floaters on the board in case I have an eight. But I'm not seeing anything. I don't have anything which goes in front of Oi. I do have a double double lane to consider in row E through the U of Boudoirs. Well, I have Azure through that, but that dodges both double word squares, so that's no good. I haven't seen anywhere great for my Z so far. Wow, good bingo by my opponent, 72 points. I'm now 14 points behind. And I have a few more floaters to consider. So I'm looking for somewhere to play my Z. But I'd also like to get rid of my other non bingo -y tiles. Now, I note that my Z can go right here between these two O's for f over 40 points. Now, is there a way of playing off my F or my Y with the Z in that spot? Fosy is a nice short word, but that doesn't place the Z exactly here, and this is where I want it. So I have Frozen and Forze and Froze through that O. Not that they play, but I'm looking for a word with exactly this, the Z in this spot. And I'm looking in row G as well as in, in column 7. Well, I think the best I can do is zonary, which dumps the Y. I'd much rather be progressing with one high-scoring tile than two. So, 50 points. A reasonably balanced rack and a couple of scoring tiles. Can't see a bingo here. Zoe takes an A in front, so I could play Caddy in row F. It would be nice to play, it would be nice to play off the F and the K, but I would be looking to having a decent vowel consonant balance in the rack leave. Now, my, both my F and my K can go above the A of Zonary. So I could play Calf at that spot, or Kofta. Both leaving a preponderance of vowels. Well, my opponent burns the second blank and takes the spot I was considering. 
Now, what about playing underneath zonary? My F can go underneath OR. So here. So do I have a play across here? Now, I think fakey is good. And this is going to be annoying if it isn't. It could be EY. My opponent's got a, uh, well, a decent lead. Well, 14 point lead, but I, I wouldn't want to walk away with nothing from this play, especially if there's a move I'm sure of. Well, I think this is good. Let's find out. If it stays on, I get a decent score, and this rack looks okay. Great, my opponent's challenged, and it has stayed on. He loses five points. Great, I had that was right on the limit of what I what I thought was okay. I was probably only about ninety eight, ninety seven percent sure of that. Now, what can I do with this rack? Through an A, I would have Wantoner. No A's available. Do I have anything through the I? I don't think in Towner is good. And there's also the E of Fakey to consider. Well, I'm not seeing anything. So, what I'd like to do is play off the W and one of the N's. So I'm looking around for good spots for my W. I guess it can go underneath, or not guessing, it can go underneath YA to make your. Well, how, how disappointing. I was looking across here in row I, but WOND isn't good. And if I played WEND, KE isn't good. So where can I play N and W? And if I can play off just those two, I'm looking at a pretty bingo-y five-letter rack leave. Well, I could play Yawn. Or I could play New across here. It burns the E, which is a shame. But it does get rid of the N and the W, and a score of 21 points is a lot more than the 10 points that I would get with Yawn. 15 minutes left. Have I missed somewhere for my W? No, I don't think so. A lot of vowels. In fact, I've drawn three vowels. I kept just the O and I've drawn I O U, so not a great pickup. I'm wondering if I have anything, a, a bingo that is, through the S in row J. Great, only 21 points for my opponent. He is 31 points behind. I cannot see a bingo with this rack, and I've got only one point tile, so I'm going to struggle to score. I'm looking to play off at least O and U. I can do that here. 12 points, dismal. What about here? 11 points worse. I think this is slightly less dangerous. And I'm inclined to go with this. I don't think I'm going to score much more. And the rack leave is okay. It, ha it goes well with the S of boudoirs. And if I draw an E, it'll be a pretty good set of tiles. 
I don't draw an E. Through an E I would have Intorted. I have no scoring tiles, again. I could play Tondi in row E, making Fid as well. 22 points for my opponent. My opponent burns four really bingo tiles. Maybe he's sorting out a lot of duplicates. I note that there are still two S's unplayed, so it's possible he had multiple S's on his rack. Now, the bottom half of the board is quite bingo -y, which means that my provision of extra floaters up here isn't as dangerous as it otherwise might be. Tondi, 19 points. I don't think I can score much more than that with such low scoring tiles. Not good. But I do at least have scoring tiles and vowels. A nice bingo by my opponent who now takes a 25 point lead. But I can respond to that quite well. I've got trap at the top here, but I've also got bap in the middle. Bap will leave a better rack leave. But does it score enough? 35 points. And 35 points and quite a good rack leave. Thirty nine points and a much inferior one. I'm going to go with the better rack leave. Bat thirty five points. Not good, no vowels. A lot of ease still to come. And I have a ten point lead. Great, my opponent doesn't quite reach the triple word square. I've got scoring tiles. What can I do with them? Well, I could play Chav and Hears in column 11, but Chav takes an E as well as an S, which would give my opponent an easy score in row O, which I don't really want to do. Now what about row B at the right hand side? Can I get any of my high scoring tiles on the triple letter square here and running across the top of on and ug? Well, no, I can't see a way of doing that. Well, what I can do is play chav across here, which isn't particularly dangerous. Not many words are something V, something high scoring tile. And not many words end I. The rack leave isn't great. It would be nice to play off one more tile. 36 points is a good score. And if I, if I draw an E, which I should do given how many there are out there, this could be an okay rack. Now I'm missing something a lot better. Well, I'm just, just seeing that I could play chart in column 3. 42 points. Six more points. Yeah. I think that's worth it. Because I'm not in the situation of needing a bingo to catch up. With no vowels in my rack leave, I'd rather have two consonants than three. The V is a scoring tile for next go, if I don't have a bingo. So, those are all my reasons. Chart takes an A as well as an S after it. I've got nine minutes left. Is there something better than chart? Hmm. 
No, I think that's fine. Well, there are the E's. I note that I can play Glove in row B, making Oon and Vug, so that would score reasonably well. I've got a 25-point lead. Another bingo by my opponent. How many is that he's had now? Three. Okay, well, that puts him back into the lead. 13 tiles left. My glove spot remains available. I'm vulnerable to being swamped with ease since I'm retaining two and there are four unseen. But I'm just going to have to take my chances. Glove 36 is a good score. That's going to take me to within seven of my opponent. Great. I do draw more ease, but... I have the X, which is a good scoring tile, and the tiles that remain are not bingo -y. My opponent will not be bingoing again. But there is the Q and U's out there. Great, only 10 points for my opponent. So he's now 17 points ahead. I've got 8 minutes left. Is there somewhere fabulous for my X? This would be a good time to get a big score with the X. Well, what about down here? Forty-six points, that's not bad. Can I do better than that? Just looking in row A above glove, nothing there. No, I think oh well, what about this? X spot here next to the eye of medics. Can't see a way of using that. Okay, I think this is the play. Three tiles in the bag, including, well, of the unseen tiles, including the Q and the U. I have no scoring tiles. 21 points for my opponent. That's a good score for him. He is eight points behind. He's emptied the bag. I can see what he's got. He does. He has quite a, He has a bingo on his rack. There's nowhere to play that. Does he have a bingo through any floaters? I don't think so. He's got 14 minutes left. I've got seven. My opponent has got a scoring tile in the queue, and I have no scoring tiles. So, what to do? I don't have anything which goes after axe, but nor does my opponent. I've got nothing which goes after glove. My opponent's got an R. My opponent can play toke in row A, making ug and L. Now what else has my opponent got? Surely he's got something through the N of Tondai. He's, he can play Quoin at A4 down. So he's got a couple of big plays. So he ought to win. What can I do about that? Certainly, I'm aiming to go out in two. So that if he, if he doesn't spot a big Q play, then I can still win. He may be tempted to play QI next to the Eye of Medics. And maybe he won't spot Toke in row A. So, can I play in column 3 to block the coin play in column 4? I've got an I for going after AH and an N for going after YO, and, and this is going to score well. What I'm not, what I'm going to struggle to do is play off E's in this spot. Now, if my opponent does play coin, maybe I should be keeping the tiles for playing queen or quite. So if I kept them the tiles for Queen, I'd need to play off T I E. I've got five minutes left. Can I get a decent score with 
T I E and quiet would mean playing off double E N So not easy. Well, what about E N E down here? 18 points, that's actually not bad. I'm keeping the tiles for quiet, should my opponent play coin. Let me see if that's going to be enough. At the moment, I've got an 8-point lead. Eden's going to give me a 26-point lead. If my opponent plays coin, 48, then quiet will be enough. If, however, he doesn't, if he plays toque or something across here, Then I have Etui on my rack. And I can play that down here, making Renew and ST. So I should be able to, to go out next go. And I haven't got a whole lot of time left. So at the moment, I have a 26-point lead. I hope I haven't overlooked a bingo for my opponent. And quiet 47 points. So he has now got a 21 point lead. I'm going to get six on count back. I need to score 15 to draw, 16 to win. Is this enough? I don't think it is. 16 points. That would take me to f 406. Oh, oh, actually, I think that might be enough. 16 points. 406. Yeah. And then on count back, I win by one. Well, I think that does it. I've got three minutes left. Is there a spot which scores more? So I'm looking for more than 16. Well, I don't think so. Just wait for my opponent to formally end the game. Which he does. And the final score, 411 for my opponent, 412. For me, a winning margin of just one point. Excellent, excellent game. I agree with my opponent. So, it couldn't have been any more closer. Well, yes. So, I've no idea if my opponent could have won that, or indeed if I could have won it by more, but let's see what I missed. Okay. So this was the opening rack. And it was my opponent's go first. He played OI, and very fortunately for me, he provided an I for Boudoirs, which was the only bingo. This is my opponent's rack. He had a number of bingos. There was a nine-timer with figurant, difficult to spot. He played floating. This was my rack. And, wow, a gry is 58. Where's that? C13. Ah, oh, right, coming down through the G. What did I do? I played Zonary for 50, so actually only 8 points behind, and I'm retaining the E, so very little between those plays. This was my opponent's rack. What did he have? Well, no bingos. He played Joe, which took out a spot I had in mind. And Fakey was my play, which was the best play. And I had some doubts about it. Fortunately, my opponent challenged, I think, and I think he challenged a, number, a couple of plays, which benefited me, given that I won by one. This was my opponent's rack. 
He had no bingos. He played medic. And this is Myrak. And I was looking to play off the W and the N. And not much more. I played new for 21, keeping Tron. I could have got one more point and kept Rent at I6. Ah, making Zoo and Warn probably slightly better. My opponent's rack, that looks pretty good. Wow, Medicaids and Medicares. They would have been very nice. It looks like there's a bingo there, but there wasn't. My opponent played Dad. This was my rack. Out floating, wow. Didn't see that. What did I do? I played OU for 12. Keeping. Try on. Yeah, which is a good, a good-ish five-letter set. And all of these are keeping pretty ropey three-letter sets. So I think my play is uh, the equivalent of these. My opponent's rack. Does he have a bingo? No. Medicare's was still available. And this was my rack. And I played Tondai for 24. I could have played Ditto in the same spot for three more points. RT has more synergy than NT. But I'm not sure if it has uh, three points more. But those moves will be pretty close. Now, my opponent did well to spot hotlines. There were a number of other bingos there. And here I was looking at the choice between BAP and TRAP. Yeah, and those look like the top two plays, but I prefer BAP because ARTV does have some synergy. My opponent's rack, he has Miss Array through an R, no R's available. And he played May for 26, and at this point I'm 15 points behind. Chav B12. Well, oh, I think that's actually what I played. No, it isn't. That's what I nearly played and then switched to chart for 41. Difficult to be sure as to what's best here, because although keeping three constants is not as good as keeping two, there were a lot of vowels out there. Anyway, this is my opponent's rack. He has numerous bingos, all for the same number of points. Plays pastier and at this point is a 43-point lead. I have Glove for 36, keeping two E's with still four E's unseen. My opponent's rack, which is dreadful. He's got a seven-point lead, and this is a pretty dire position to be in. He could have dumped the Q for 31, keeping six consonants. What did he do? Played Lou for 10. Okay, this is my rack. I played Vex for 46. That looks best. My opponent's rack. Well, Chi's still available, but he plays Leg. And now we're into the end game. No tiles left. And, well, let's see what's being suggested. And what's being suggested here won't be taking into account the best move. So it's suggesting A7, 10U. Well, then the coin spot remains available. So I prefer my play of ENE for the reasons cited earlier. It means that if my opponent plays coin, I've got quiet. So, what did my opponent have? He did have coin for 48, but he had a whole bunch of other stuff, including A6 talk for 50. And at this point, he's only 26 points behind. So, given that I won by one, after he played quiet for 47, losing six on countbacks, so that was a net 41. He could have got a net. 48 for talk so talk would have been a winning play there fortunately for me he played quiet for 47 and i had etwi for 16 which was enough to scrape home so a really exciting game a win by the smallest of margins and my opponent could have won but didn't so all good exciting stuff um, a whole bunch of uh, interesting racks to consider so i hope you enjoyed watching that and got something out of it. My name is David Webb and this has been a video for Dweebovision.